morning, Shark Nation, and thank you for tuning in to WFI and Shark TV. I'm Shelby Anderson. And I'm Mackenzie Littner. Sharks with talent, this one's for you. Talent show tryouts are March 9th. Pick up applications from Ms. Delatory in guidance or Ms. Betts in student services. Mandatory rehearsals will be held March 15th, and the show takes the stage in the PAC March 16th. Any student that is interested in signing up for the talent show to see Ms. Delatory in guidance or Ms. Betts in the student services. Show is March 16th at 7 p.m. Save the date, seniors. Universal Studios Grad Bash is around the corner, and tickets go on sale February 21st. You can pick up your tickets at the Shark Cove Bookstore for $100. Tickets are non-refundable and include admission and transportation. Want to be in the yearbook? Sharkbook staff is looking for you to grab your brother, sister, cousins, mom, or dad who attends or works at SRHS for the Shark Family page in the yearbook. Staffers will be taking photos Friday during both lunches. Weekend. With many games and many matches at home tonight, you can catch the Sharks baseball team play base at high. The Sharks are up to bat at 6. Lady Sharks softball takes the field at 6 against Harmony. Tomorrow night, rugby is in action in the Sharks Stadium. Come and cheer the more as they batted for a 6 win against Daytona. Be sure to wish the lacrosse team good luck on their match away this weekend. Go Sharks! Happy birthday to Shark staff, Mackenzie, uh, me, and Amara. <laughs> February is Black History Month. Video production classes made videos showcasing just a few who have made significant contributions to society. We'll be airing a new one every day for the next two weeks. Let's take a look. <laughs> Nelson Mandela was born in 1998 in South Africa and was an important political figure. In 1943, he graduated from University College of Fort Hare, where he studied law. He had very strong beliefs about racism and believed that it was an issue that should be ended. He made many peaceful protests against it, which caused him to be arrested and charged with treason. And in 1964, he was sent to prison. In 1990, he was released from prison and spoke about his experiences in jail. We put our foot down and insisted in being respected, even though we're prisoners. In 1993, Mandela received the Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts to break apart the legacy of the apartheid. In 2013, after many years of fighting for equality and against racism, Nelson Mandela passed away. And many organizations, such as the Nelson Mandela Foundation, were started in his memory. That wraps up this episode of WFIN News. Have a great weekend, and remember, you, you can't, can't hide, hide that shark pride. pride.